I'm Susan Hudson, and I'm the Director of Collections and Exhibition at the Cincinnati Art Museum. And I'm Michael Garlington, and uh, behind me is the Paper Arch. Less than a year ago, our director, Cameron Kitchen, suggested the idea of this exhibition, and he said it's going to go against the grain of everything you've been trained. Can't touch things in museums, and, uh, and to some degree that could be a good thing. Burning Man is different in that sense. I couldn't think of a better way to allow people to finally interact with works of art in this building. The kids will be able to touch it and see the detail, and also see the flaws. The flaws are almost better because they can see that in there, they can do it. Wilkes wants people to interact with this. He's adamant that people come in and turn the wheel and understand how it works. I love the idea of the interactive part that you can look through these holes, and it's a mirror trick. Your own eye floats in the center of the art piece. You are even part of the piece. Also on this floor, we have the Foldhouse Art Collective Shroom and Lumen, and people are actually supposed to stand on them to make them activate. We also have Aaron Kuffner's Gamma Latron upstairs. When he was writing the piece, he wrote it to sort of come to a crescendo during the times where we might be busier and there's more people around. And then it was a little more subtle when we're not as busy and maybe it's a quieter moment when people can kind of sit there and listen to it. I don't think you can go into that room and not feel like you're part of the piece. It's a great piece for no spectators. I love it. I love what you're doing. You got an extra, throw another one with it. I know you're going to put it there. Our director decided, why not install these throughout the museum, have them start conversations between these modern works, these contemporary works, and then some of these more historic things that we have in the institution already. Art is a great chain. To me, it's not about plagiarism. It's about seeing a piece of architecture, seeing a piece of art, and wanting to walk the pathway of that piece. And then as you do that, we discover something new. And that's the modern that is attached to the ancient. And I hope that this piece inspires others just to keep that chain. This Evotrope piece behind us really kind of speaks to this Steinberg mural that we're sitting near. There's several different modes of transportation going on in this mural. Um, there's a sense of whimsy to both pieces. The Marco Cochran Truth is Beauty figure, we took out two of our bronze Degas sculptures and placed them next to her on either side so that those two things can speak to each other. This will go on long after I'm here, long after you're here, and as well as it went on long after they were here. It's all uh, a way to learn and to find a voice and to hear a voice from the past that is long gone. See how this, there's a flower there and it's kind of chopped off with a flat line? If we can go up and just maybe turn it so that the flat line goes against the arch. We have two openings for this exhibition. The April 26th opening is going to be open to the public, uh, free, no tickets are necessary, and we're just really thrilled that the people of Cincinnati and even the local burners can actually enjoy pieces without going to Black Rock City if they can't go out to Burning Man. Everybody is invited. Everybody can be part of this. One thing that brings us forward, I believe, is art. It's a way to express yourself without violence, but have that same impact.